Ola, I told you I'd be right back, and you thought I was joking. But um, I've, I've been exploring this particular deck. It is called The Divine Guidance, and I'll show it to you on the other side where it's not backwards, uh, by Cheryl Lee Harnish. And they're really interesting cards because they're just essentially just like random, kind of like paintings or pictures. But it's using that Carl Jung, J-U-N-G, philosophy of uh, how to interpret. You know, he, Carl Jung and Sigmund Freud said that everybody is an intuitive. Me, you, the guy next door, we're all intuitives. That we just need something to kind of trigger that memory or trigger that process. And so um, that's why I kind of like these because there's really when I look at those pictures, there's not anything in particular that you per se can go, oh yeah, that's what it means. It's every time I look at these cards, they're going to tell me, oh, whoops, okay, there we go. They're going to tell me a little bit different story to what's going on. Don't go away. They fell on the it fell on the floor. That means that I gotta bend down and get it. Okay, actually, two of them flung out. So we're gonna start with the first one, uh, and it looks like a paisley print to me. All right, you're having surgery today. Well, I send covering and healing for your surgery, that it is fast uh, and that um, our Father God has his hands upon your surgeon's hands as he is doing that procedure. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, so this is that first card and I'm actually gonna bring it up a little bit. I had to use a different holder. I broke my holder again. Okay, so I'm using a little bit different one. Um, Y'all are like, Maris, for Petey's sake. Okay, all right, so this is what this picture looks like. Okay, let's right, so see you can get a... Okay, my boyfriend Scam Likely is calling me again. Okay, that's not going to work. Bear with me. Okay. I'm like, so I'm going to try very hard not to touch that. All right, so take a look at this picture here. And let's just take a deep breath and let's look at it. And this picture is, um, what are we looking at? We're looking at what well, looks like a paisley print from, you know, when you look at it really quickly. But it's got this spiral going on. And spirals um, usually talk about moving in a direction. And so it says that energetically your life is ready to move in a new direction. But have you allowed for this to happen? Have you noticed that you do the same things each day that you have fallen into a routine? It's time to break free from the daily patterns you have created in your life, and it's time to be spontaneous. When you do this, you open your energy to the possibilities of something new and revive your passion for living. The energy of the universe is ready to flow, and by consciously breaking free of the routines and patterns you have created in your life, you allow space for the new and different to manifest. So I think that's really an interesting perspective when you look at it, because you're looking, we're looking at something in a very, very different way. We're looking at something in a very different way. And kind of going back to our reading with the shamanic healing, where it's talking about being still and being, you know, being still and being quiet and putting yourself into an alignment that that allows for that new direction to flow. That allows for your new direction to flow. So when you're going through to clear, balance and clear, that allows that beautiful space to open up and for other things or new, new paths, new beginnings to come through. Well, two cards that came flying out 
at the same time. So we're um, going to go with this um, card right back here. Let me make it a little bit smaller so you can get the whole card in through there. And it's kind of interesting. It, you know, when I first looked at it, it looked like a bee. It looked like a bee, like a bunny bee or a bunny bee, a honey bee or a bumblebee. It reminded me of a bee. And you're like, well, I don't see any of the block in there. And here, I'm just kind of bringing that to where you can see it a little bit without the glare. That when I'm looking at it, it just, it reminds me of a bee. Whoops. I feel goofy today here. All my stuff's been breaking. Scam likely. Okay. I don't know why my things are breaking. I really don't. I'm kind of laughing. I'm laughing, but not laughing. Um, my little stand broke. Scam likely. My boyfriend. He's not really my boyfriend. I call him my stalker. It's like all these people calling on my phone all the time. Um, you know, scam, you know, just like telemarketers. That's the word for it. So anyway, um, when I first looked at this card, it looked like a bumblebee. And it looked, uh, you know, some or like a honeybee, a bumblebee. And it kind of like caught me off guard because when I think about bees, I think about fertility. I think about growth. I think about movement. Um, I think about, um, you know, things growing, like plants growing, being nourish nourished and nurtured. Well, this card, the original intent of the card is about inf infinite love. And so when you really start to look at it, you can see the infinity sign. And then we have two hearts. So it's a, about that infinite love. But what's really beautiful about it is this card is talking about that love resides within you. It says this card represents the inf infinite love that not only resides within you, but is you. The entire universe is the vibration of love energy. Spirit sees your beautiful heart and is calling you to allow this loving energy to flow fully into you and from you. It will help heal your hurts and negative past experiences, helping you connect with the true immortal being of light that you are. It is your light and your love that this world um, needs most. It's time to let the love flow. It does. It's, you know, I'm looking at these and, I'm, and I have to giggle because, um, you know, uh, what you're looking at when you put these two together, it's about taking a path or direction into love and love starts from within and love starts with you. So I have to agree with you, Matthew. I really think that that is um, very, very, very true in that uh, about how the cards are tied together. And that is why I think they both flew out because we could go, oh, yeah, OK, with one. And then we could go, oh, yeah, OK, with the other. But when they come together, they have a much more significant meaning. So I hope you enjoyed the Wednesday Wisdom. It was supposed to be one card. Two cards flew out. My stuff broke, you know, my little, um, what you might call it, my little um, stand broke, my other stand broke. I'm like, dang it. That means I'm going to have to go to the store and, like, go shopping. That means I have to put a mask on. Ah, I can do it. I can do anything. So I hope to see you very soon and I will catch up with you later. Peace, love, and harmony. Have a great day.